Hello, my name is Greg Henderson. I'm 27 and a half years old. This is the preview trailer for my new weekly episodic series, The Life of Greg. It follows me as I do things that I do in my everyday life. Some things about me. First of all, I'm 27 and a half. I have a really nice apartment and it's in Fountain County, Indiana. The other day I, I was on my paper route and it got really hot. So I decided to go down to the local grocery store because on the side of their building, they have some soda pop machines and it only costs 50 cents, which I think is a really good deal. I put in my money and I got a nice refreshing raspberry soda. And then after that, something miraculous happened. I leaned on the machine and hit a button, and without even putting any money in, a soda pop came out. And then I hit another button, and another soda pop came out. I didn't even put any money in, but they just kept coming out. So I said, let's just see what happens if I just keep hitting buttons. And every time I would hit a button, a soda pop would come out, even if I didn't put in any quarters. So I said, I'm going to see how many of these things I can get for free. As long as no one catches me, I'm just going to empty out this whole machine. But then right then, a store worker came out, and I was worried that he was going to bust me. So I said, I'm going to load up my bag of all these free sodas, and I'm going to get out of here. But I had a plan, so it was okay, don't worry. I took off running full speed out of there. I ran right by that worker. He probably didn't even see me because I was running like like lightning or maybe even like the wind. I went full speed on the rest of my paper route because I wanted to make sure I had time to put my plan in action before it got too dark. I had to drop off a paper at the town hall. I had to drop off a paper at the, the house with a brand new porch and I also had to drop off a paper at my favorite house but I started to get really sweaty because I was running so fast there was sweat pouring down my back and then at my last house I launched this paper and it bounced up and it hit the car it was a really nice car so I did a quick spit shine and it seemed like it was okay. I just hope that the people don't notice and call and report me to my supervisor because I don't want to lose my tips. After a few minor distractions, I made it home to my apartment. That's when I started to put my plan into action. I know one thing that stops me from buying things, especially out of soda machines and other vending machines, is when there are signs that say, out of order. Especially if there are absolutely no refunds. I don't know what the difference between no refunds and absolutely no refunds is, but if it's absolutely no refunds, there's no way I'm putting my money in there. So I went back to the store and it was still pumping out free soda pops so I decided to put the out of order sign on the machine so no one else would know that it's giving out free soda pops and then I could come back later at night time and empty out that whole machine. That's not even really Fountain County and I didn't even really shoot this video but I had to find a video that showed that it was night. At the, against the advice of my mom, I went back to the grocery store at night where the, I, I couldn't get caught. So I threw that, that paper out of there and I just started getting as many free soda pops as I could. I know what you're saying, Greg, you're breaking the law, but if you could get free soda pops out of a machine, I bet you $100 that 
that you'd do it too. Well, I can't really bet $100 right now because I only have $35 in the bank. But I'll bet you $35 that you would do it. The sodas just kept coming and coming and coming. And then I started to load them up. I didn't bring a cart or a basket or anything. I don't really know what I was thinking, but maybe I wasn't thinking. But then when I got my arms full, I realized something. Hey, Greg, you have some pockets in your jeans. Why don't you just fill up your jeans pockets? And that's what I did. And then I started putting them back into my howling, uh, howling at the moon wolf shirt. But I didn't want to stretch it, cause, so I didn't want to fill it too full. Once, once I got about 30 sodas, or even maybe more, I decided I was going to get out of there before I got busted. So I took off. The only problem was, is I kept dropping the sodas as I was running. By the time I got home, I only had around 13 sodas left. However, that's still a pretty good deal. Thank you for watching this preview of The Life of Greg. Hopefully, you will come back and watch all 12 episodes when they come out starting next month. Bye.